Hey guys, welcome back to the Guitar Shed. Duncan Ryan coming to you again today to teach you a little bit about alternate picking. Now, alternate picking is a technique that's used mostly in rock and metal, which I, uh, you know most of you probably know is what I mostly focus on, but it can be used in other genres as well, and it's definitely something you should experiment around with in learning guitar. So, what is alternate picking? Well, if you've uh, experimented with chords or even learned anything about guitar, you know how to basically pick or strum a note. Now, most people start out by picking down. In other words, just taking the pick and making one down stroke. Or in series, making many down strokes or, or strumming a chord like that. Now, alternate picking is when you include an upstroke into that playing. So what I'd recommend to start sort of uh, getting yourself used to this is just hold a pick in your hand without your guitar or you know with your guitar sitting on your lap like I have and just basically get the motion down. Do your do like a downstroke and then bring it back up. Just you know do that a, maybe a dozen times or something just to kind of get your hand used to the motion that way when it gets onto the guitar it isn't entirely new to you. So when we actually get onto the guitar, what we're going to do is let's take it at the seventh fret of the low E. And here's what it and here's what you would do to do just a series of downstrokes, which most of you probably already know. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to combine that with an upstroke on every other stroke. So. Now, in doing that, you're going to start building up the speed of it until you can get very, very fast. And that's what alternate picking is good for, because it's mostly used in faster rhythms or in faster lead playing. So what that allows you to do is to play basically a series of notes twice as fast. Um, I know that most of you might be thinking in terms of the rhythms, well, what about James Hetfield from Metallica? Yeah, he uses all downstrokes, but he is the only one I can think of that does that. So, now what we're going to start doing is developing a little bit of speed with it. So, as you can see, what I was doing before is actually a very slow series of notes. The... Now we can start getting faster. until you've built up to that sort of speed. And this can also be done with chords. You'll notice, like if I play this chord, I can also play the same thing on an upstroke. So then you can get into playing a series of chords faster for like a thrashy rhythm. So, what that then allows you to do is, like I said, you can start getting faster and faster and faster with both your rhythms and your lead. Um, in lead playing, it can be used, of course, just to create a very fast flurry of notes, like, for example, something like... And so, in developing that speed, what you're going to want to do is just start out alternate picking as slow as you need to to get the technique right. And make sure you're not bumping strings or, uh, you know, say hitting the bridge if you like to pick down lower. Just develop the technique, and as you move along and get better with that technique, then you can start to build the speed up. So, you know, if you need to go, say, this slow. do it. That way you get the technique down, and that way you learn to do it correctly. Um, when you do start building up the speed, it'll come very, very fast. Usually, I'd say it takes a few days, maybe a week, to get the technique down really, really well. And then after that, what's going to happen is you're going to build that speed up, but it's going to come very, very quickly. So this is one of those nice techniques that you can learn uh, quickly and easily, 
and it'll, it'll show a lot of improvement in your playing very, very fast. So that's one of those nice things about alternate picking is that you can see the results very quickly as opposed to some other techniques where it takes you a long time to develop your technique, to learn what you're doing. So, you know, that's another reason I'd recommend alternate picking, especially for beginners who may be feeling a little bit frustrated with the guitar. Uh, you know, if you're listening to professional guitar players who are obviously playing much, much faster than you. Um, you know, that's one of those things you can do to really improve that and speed up your guitar playing at the same time. So, until next time, guys, see you later.